was supposed to be um, popping here. Popping. All right, I think we're live. Yep, we're live. Let's do the ding. Let's see if this thing will even start. So, for anybody watching, lead unit, no worky today. No worky today. That, that's the technical jargon right there. Yeah. <laughs> unit no worky. So, we're going to see if this uh, UP pile of turd will start up or not. This is how we do it. We just we auto do everything because I did in real life and I don't want to do it in the game. So it's starting. Tonight, using it for two days, just magically fix it. Nope, she's down. She's down. Horse. Yeah. Right. Wait, so you had like a bad fuel pump on that thing and you still got it started with a bad fuel pump? It tried to start up and then it just shut down, so. Hmm. Yeah. Alright, let's Maybe go. Maybe put the throttle all the way up and then do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Burn it to the ground. <laughs> pump the throttle and then try to start it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's funny. Let's see, 8516. Alright, let's see. <laughs> what was Oh, go ahead. What was that comment? I, I'm starting to doubt that you were a conductor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Last That's time. Ebook today's video. <laughs> yeah. I have my doubts. Yeah, I do too. I have my doubts. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, all right. So we're gonna make some alterations to this crap because uh, screw these people. This thing's not wanting to uh, go. Has your dad watched these videos? Oh, no. Oh, wow. He'd be like, you foamer. <laughs> yeah. I would love to do it to, to, for you to do a reaction video with him. Oh, jeez. Holy cow. You'd have to censor. Stand by on the beep button. Uh, yeah. Beep, 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 beep. You suck. <laughs> yeah. Now, he'd probably point out a bunch of things I'm doing wrong, which is warranted. Oh yeah, you know. Which very, uh, I'm not claiming rooted. to be a professional by any means. I just kind of know what, how the railroad works. So. <laughs> how many years of your dad's been an engineer? Oh, let's see. He got in a seat in '98, so 24 years. Wow. Been at the railroad for 27 years now. So. Wow. Poor guy. Yeah. All right, well, it's a gripper and ripper, huh? No wonder he's uh, always on the verge of losing his shit. <laughs> he's been better lately, you know? That's good. That's yeah. a lot. Yeah. I mean, he's tired like usual, but he's dealing with it good, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do we got going on here? And then uh, for everybody to know that this video is like five, six seconds behind what I actually see. Like we're talking ahead. Yeah. So uh, if I see something and it's five seconds late, you guys know why. Yep. Chad's still ready with his. Uh, it's Kyle, man. Or Kyle. What yeah. I call him, Chad? Chad. No, Chad would be a good engineer. He is not a. He, he's not a good conductor. Ah, oh, buddy. Kyle with his uh, Confederate hat on still, rocking that. Yeah. Oh God. So today I was <clears throat> in Bonds, while so I was doing my pickup behind Bonds, uh -huh. and the Coca-Cola guy was there, and on his pallets, he's got monsters. But now there's all different kinds of flavor. There's like watermelon flavor, ultra peach, all kinds of weird stuff. Yeah. So I, I know. Was, I was thinking about your conductor when we were talking. Yeah, for anybody who doesn't know, this is Kyle. He drinks monsters and drives an F-150. Um, he's useless. So. Has a monster tattoo. Yep. Yeah, he's a he's the epitome of monster. 
I think he might have they... a sponsorship or some sort of endorsement at this point, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's crazy. They have a ton of flavors, even though I don't drink that crap. Yeah, it seems like every time I go into a grocery store or gas station, I see a different color can of theirs. Yeah. I used to drink it, but not anymore. I was Red Bull because I used to get them for free. Yeah. At the racetrack, so. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I take free, that's for sure. I like Yeah, and stuff. then when I couldn't get them anymore, I, did, I stopped drinking. Yeah, yeah. I love how this cab signals on. That, that makes my day. It's the only thing the only that thing works in this unit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so for, for those of you that just uh, jumped on or watching us, this unit is donezo. She done quit on us. So we're going to get cool. rid of her. Just... I'm surprised that the electronics would still work if the <clears throat> engine can't start. Yeah, so it's probably running off the battery if this were real. And since oh. we have the multiple unit cables, that's how you connect the trailing units. They do so whatever you do. Easy. Yeah, so it's still relaying the information of, hey, throttle up, throttle down, set brake, blah, blah, blah. So that's why we're not totally dead in the water. Hey, he's looking out the window. Oh, now he's straight again. He's over there taking a gaze at, you know, the beautiful flat desert. Oh, yeah. Let's see, what are we, good for 40? That's right. Let's probably slow down. I think we're good for 50, actually, but... We're plus 16 on the accelerometer. Well, I'm just now seeing Kyle's head. That's, <laughs> that's how long that takes. Yeah, it shouldn't be uh, streaming that's live. Cool. It should be... Uh, like a 20 second delay is what it should be yeah. called. That's awesome. We're gonna have to go on the dinos. Luckily our uh, only unit that has decent dynamics is dead, so it's always a good thing. Wow, are we going downhill that much? I bet you this thing would still smell like brakes after you cooked them. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, my God. You want to know how to hotbox up the railroad? Yeah, you nuked them suckers. Yeah. Period is the bail button, so I need to remember that. Because I was hitting the, the wrong one. Is the wrong button? All right, what do we got going on? I got a crossing coming up. Those of you who play Transport Fever 2 just came out with a new map. Coastline of Central California. Oxnard. Love the thumbnail on that. Oh, thank you. Yeah. That That's was beautiful. sweet picture. Yeah. So, yeah. Oxnard, Ventura, Santa Barbara, Pismo, San Luis Obispo, and then up the grade to Atascadero. So go check that out. It's on the workshop. Started a Patreon, so any kind of small donations is greatly appreciated because those maps take a lot of work. But if not, no big deal. You can also find updates of what I'm currently working on with future maps on our Patreon. So just go follow us and you can see what I'm up to. I actually made this route, so the Mojave sub in Transport Fever 2. Really happy with how it turned out, so make sure to go check that out too. And if you have any map suggestions for that game, let me know.
<laughs> they got an Amtrak unit <laughs> on a bunch of box cars because they don't have the passenger cars for the Amtrak in the game. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> uh, I'm sure I'll see it up in like you know another 20 seconds. Yeah. That's hilarious. Take a look, everybody. Yeah. This is what happens when you have a broke passenger railroad. We start hauling box cars. Well, that's uh, express freight now. Yeah. That's what that is. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, we're coming up on it now on my screen. <laughs> I love it. That is awesome. Are we still rolling downhill right now? Like we are. I, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Amtrak started doing that. Like some kind of express rate, like uh, almost like a FedEx type of thing, you know, or UPS. Yeah. Oh, shoot, they gotta do something, man. Yeah, they could actually make money then. Oh, that's silly. They're a government agency. Hmm. And they're in debt. Hmm. Hmm. See, we're looking good. Max speed 50 right now. We're doing 49. Let's look at the thingamabobber. This SP8516 all the way to the left of Ainsel doesn't want to move. Maybe he's broken down for all I know. <laughs> My money's at. <laughs> yeah. There's like two units on fire. <laughs> <laughs> we roll by and it's just burning. Yeah. One can, help. <laughs> One can help. One can help. Once again, this unit's dead, so that's why it's so quiet and peaceful up here. Yeah, you can actually hear Kyle fart out that monster parts. Yeah. All you hear is a bunch of caps just. You know if Randy Savage was still alive today, he'd be uh, pimping out monsters. Yeah. He'd be the spokesman. He'd be the face of monsters. Yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah. Drink a monster. Turn into a monster like me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Destroy your kidneys like me. Oh yeah. He, he, like, turns to the corporate monster guy off camera. Does this thing have cocaine in it? I need cocaine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He'd have his own, like, flavor. <laughs> Only yeah. sold in Colombia. <laughs> <laughs> Daroid coke flavor. Yeah. yeah. I wonder what his max weight was. Oh, yeah. I'd be good to know, like, what him and Hulk, all those old guys, wonder what their max was. Squats and all that. I'm sure. Did I'll... they even work their legs? Or was it all upper body? I think they did. Back then, it was. I think there was a full body, you know? Hey, I guess you'd have to be running around in a little freaking bikini. <laughs> I bet you Hulk Hogan was pretty strong back in the day. Yeah, he was a big dude, man. Yeah. His big ass head, he could lift a lot. <laughs> just with his head. <laughs> yeah, just with his giant head. Hey, why is that unit alarm yellow thing on my screen? This thing's working <laughs> great. It's one of the new hydrogen engines. It's so quiet. Detector. Yeah. 
Yeah, Axel 420. That's hilarious. That All was... the Axels to be screwed up. 420. Four, yeah. So that's that why that was why we kept tripping the detector, dude. Because I was hitting the wrong button to bail. So the brakes on the units were overheating. So those are all the unit axles. <laughs> <laughs> They're just red hot, just permanently on. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. It's all in the details. <laughs> oh, hey, the alerter. Wow, I haven't seen that in a while. <clears throat> can you hear yourself on this live stream? I don't even know if the people can hear you. I, they should be able to, but... I have no clue. can hear myself, but I have it muted because that screws things up. Because um, I have not only am I playing another game, I've got music going and a YouTube video. And <laughs> what we're talking about. <laughs> Gold Wonder here is multitasker to the max. <laughs> you can say that. <laughs> yeah, you can say that. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, that's the usual. Got a lot going on. Mm hmm Yes, sir. Well, it, it is farm sim, so it's not like, a, you know, I'm in a hairy situation in some kind of shoot -em game. Yeah, yeah. So. Just farming away. Yeah, I wanted a game where I could tab out real easy. Yeah. So, in case I needed to see the video. Just gotta get those multiple screens going, man. Oh man! With I your laptop, you know I... like that would be perfect, or something like that. Well, no, no, no. <clears throat> um, the cables in the back of the—I thought I had another HDMI ah. that would come out, but it—it it didn't work. So yeah, because I got these two giant freaking TVs. I got one for the computer and just one for the consoles. Yeah. No, that would be cool if you could figure that out, because then you could just watch it without having to tab out or anything. <clears throat> yeah, that's the dream. I just don't have that. Yeah. Do you remember me? Hello, what's going on, man? You were the uh, Pan Central Conrail guy, if I remember correctly. Right? I might be wrong. So we're passing up a northbound train like us. So two whistles and the bell just in case the conductor's on the ground. <clears throat> Give him some warning. So tell you what, if you gotta be working between cars and you have another train fly by, and you don't expect it, it's kinda scary. On the green. Yes, sir. Hey, look at that. I got a poor memory, but not today. I remembered you. That is truly amazing. Yeah. With your memory. Yeah, that's bad. Oh, I should have just left the bell on if I would have known there was a crossing there. Good lord. The lord is good. <clears throat> that the train that auto could not get going oh there's a whole list of trains that uh, oh, bastard okay. couldn't get going good good gosh i'm tempted to turn them on to see what what will happen but i'm gonna at least just get through to mojave and then maybe i'll turn them back on i think he was confused because i was coming off of a route that i bought for dlc and it's technically not for this version of the game. I just kind of manipulated it so that it worked. So I think that was a problem. So hopefully now I we're back on the uh, regular game now. I'm sure he'll start moving stuff. Yeah. Because yeah. he, he lined a train right into me coming up 
the Cajon Pass, so he obviously isn't programmed to run that route yet, so. Yeah, I hear you, I hear you. <clears throat> oh yeah, ghost traveling through the yard. I worked in the uh, West Colton hump many times down in the bowl walking around and cars are zipping past you. You can't even hear them. It's pitch black. That's always fun. Yeah, you just look for a shadow in the rail, and you know, okay, I'm not going to walk across that track right now. It's already so much noise as it is, you can't hear nothing coming at you. <clears throat> Still on the green. Alright, so where are the UP8374 bottom left? Um, oh my gosh, this alerter really wants to go off today trying to look at my phone so I can see what's going on jeez I'm gonna go on the Azel Ainsel I can say words go around this SP8516 because he doesn't want to move south for whatever reason dummy and then uh, we're gonna go into the Mojave yard words words and stuff up oh, crossing everybody not like it's a important road crossing or anything oh, I think I'm finally starting to get used to this game so that's nice not uh, fumbling around like an idiot anymore or at least so far so we're gonna line ourselves into the yard so we gotta drop off some stiffs <clears throat> yeah, namely this engine. <laughs> yeah. We got one set out. This yellow piece of junk. Yeah, but it's pretty crazy how that stuff can roll through and you don't even hear it. That was one thing I really made sure is to not get complacent and to uh, pay attention. You know, like I always wanted to work for the railroad <clears throat> since I was real little. My dad worked there, and uh, so I grew up around it. But I don't think I, ever once I was there to like enjoy it like you think you would. I was all business because uh, dangerous Three, stuff. Five. Kyle, man, he's he, at least he's looking forward this trip, you know. I mean, yeah, the last trip he was just I don't know what he was doing. Yeah, he's just it's like he was drooling out the window or something, like totally fried on monster. You know what it was? The last trip he was paranoid because you guys were going up to, to Atchipi. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's what it was. Yeah. He was scared. And I was giving him a hard time and. You know, these younger fellas are a little softer these days, you know? Yeah. So. Oh, your grandfather worked for Penn. That's cool. I bet he was a steam guy. That would have been crazy to experience back in the day. Oh, man. That would have been pretty sweet. Don't say so myself. <clears throat> yeah, when my uncle started the B and O, they were phasing out the steam. Yeah. He said every now and then you'd catch a steam, but it was rare, usually in the yards. Yeah. Yep. There was a old SP guy. <clears throat> oh, it's a detector. Hey, no defects. It's because I figured out how to bail correctly. <laughs> so anyways, there was a old SP guy. His name was, his nickname was Tiger. And he didn't retire until he was like 85. And uh, my dad knew him for a long time and worked with him and everything. And he was from the Steam days. 
going across the desert and steam engines back in the day. I'm like, whoa, buddy, he's seen a lot. <laughs> Lander 484 between all the different train simulation games, which one do you prefer? Well, for realism, I prefer the one I'm playing right now, which is called the Run A Train Simulator. It's by far the most realistic. Everything but the graphics. That's the one knock on this game is the graphics. So, um, if you can get past that, then I would highly suggest you get this game. So, uh, the regular train simulators like Train Sim World and uh, the regular train simulator brand game, even the trains with the Z, a new era, 19, whatever, they look nice, but their physics are far from realistic. So, I get really bored easy with those games. Where with this game, it's pretty, it's pretty realistic. I give it like a 90% realism. So, you don't get bored with this. Especially if you're doing different things all the time. So, so we're going up a pretty decent grade right now. Coming out of, uh, what was that town back there? I forget the name of it. Can't remember. We're coming up on Mojave, basically. That's all that matters. It's a nice little climb up out of here. Mojave. Mojave. Now, here's a cool fact for you, Martin, if you look at the chat. About the old Camelback steam locomotives. He's a, My buddy here, he's a big fan of them. So. Yeah, I love them, even though they killed the engineers every now and then when they throw a rod. <laughs> Who's counting? <laughs> Yeah. Uh. Yeah, Lander 484, uh, just to continue on that thought. Um, you could sit here for hours and play this game, uh, especially with the routes. You know, another issue I have with these train simulators is most of their routes that they pick, they're all double track. So you rarely have to stop or even mess with the train because the physics are already so unrealistic as it is. But at least, you know, for a game like that, if they don't want to fix the physics, make uh, some routes that are single track so you're coming in and out and you're waiting for trains and they could program it to where you're not waiting forever for a train to go by. But, uh, you know, there's just so much to do with this game in particular that I highly suggest it. So. I saw a picture the other day, Martin, uh, back in the SP days, during the summer, this engineer, typical old fat guy, had the window open because they never had AC, and he, <laughs> he had no shirt on, and he's running the train, I'm like, yes, yeah. <laughs> that's my guy oh, right yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. We're climbing the grade, it looks like we got some snow on the ground, wow, that's cool. Got some inclement weather. Let me show you guys what we got today. Same as a few days ago, but you might not have seen it. We got a dead yellow turd. And then we got a bunch of old tunnel motors that actually work. Then we got a duper on the rear. So, probably won't have a DPU running the Bakersfield. Because we'll have an old unit on the head end that is not configured for DPUs. Well, in this game, you can, but you shouldn't be able to. I wonder if I can mess with these screens. I see a video where the guy went in and was able to mess with these screens and like change a bunch of stuff like you can in real life. Well, what's the what other screens can you get? That's the question. Um, so like a uh, DPU screen, you can see what's going on there. You can go in there 
and physically run the DPU through the screen so you can throttle up or throttle down to where the DPU oh, only cool does that. Wanted to, like, stretch your train. Exactly. So a lot of good engineers these days, they will go in there and they'll mess with the DPU. So the heading will be doing be doing something completely different from the DPU. Because there are plenty of uh, places on the route where you can utilize that for a smoother, more efficient ride, basically. Hi! Duper. Duper. mess with the screens with the dash nines or the AC 4400s. Good to know. That's why we have a chat, I guess. Learn something new every day. Yeah. Well, I mean, it is yellow, so it's not like it's going to work anyway, so whatever. Yeah. <clears throat> a DDA40X in this game. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Those are those, uh, you probably know what he's talking about, Martin. Those big UP engines they used to run that was like two SD40s in one unit. Uh, they were like called the Centurions or something like that. Or... Yeah, the Sentinentals or Continentals. Or... Yeah, that's what they were. They had like a uh, Ford truck axle Yeah. on their trucks. And it was uh, so like eight axles. Yeah, those are pretty cool. I like those. Yeah, yeah. I also like, you know, it would be really cool if they had the old... Uh, the old uh, jet turbine. Oh, yeah. They yeah. were like an F unit, but with the turbines with a bunch of tenders on it. That'd be cool. Mm hmm. I like all that weird shit. Um, you know, it's kind of funny. Um, I had an HO, a. Uh, it was a Pacific uh, <clears throat> camelback. With really tall drivers, that thing was fast. Oh wow! It was set up for like a commuter, is what I did. That's cool. Yeah, that was my com commuter. DPU no calm. Imagine that. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again. How many times now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're in the middle of the desert. There should be no problems. <laughs> yeah. Everything's flat. Nothing interfering. Yeah. No calm. Must be pulling your hair out if you work up in, like, Oregon or someplace. Oh, with all the mountains. Yeah. Well, no, because UP's not up there, so they're all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, they are. <laughs> Longest train ever pulled in the whole world. It's in 1967. 12 diesels pulled 522 cars. Oh my heavens. That's that's a new level of NAR right there. This would be the part of the trip where I look outside and it's cold and snowy and I'm like, ah, I'm going to stay in the cab and stay warm. Yeah, no kidding. Not the only time. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I bet you working up north, like where I live now, is probably pretty difficult in the winters. Yeah, imagine those uh, Alaska boys on the White Pass, man. Yeah. So we're kind of slow rolling up the Mojave because I'm not sure how close it is or far it is. Can't exceed 10 coming into the yard. 
And I gotta line us in. So at some point I gotta leave the cab and go figure it out. Mr. Bell, turn off. I think we're getting relatively close. Yeah, we're getting pretty close. So let me get out. Let's go pop on over there real quick. <clears throat> Actually, we still got some ways. Whoops. I'll just do it right now. The longest train I ever had was ooh, like 15,300 feet. That was a pretty, pretty good sized train. Oh my gosh. Auto lined another train right into the flipping industry. I swear auto's an idiot. Yeah, definitely delete that one. Switch. There we go. Good boy. Why you do this, Sato? Hello. What you doing, Otto? What you doing? All right, so let's uh, control it. Not too far away from my train. Give me a break. Ha. ha! Oh no! It's snowing. Oh, yeah. All right. How do I do the windshield wipers again? I forget. <laughs> <laughs> lights. Nope. Nope. That's cool looking though. Yeah, it does look good. <laughs> it looks better with inclement weather than it does you when it's sunny. Yeah, that is funny. Ambient temperature, three, two degrees. This is what happens when you work for the railroad in uh, California. You don't know where the windshield wipers are because it hardly ever rains. Anybody know where they're at on the chat? Help a brother out, you know? Help a Kyle out. You should have stayed on the channel when we left, bub. But I guess it's not on the channel. Dispatcher! Yeah, hang your head out the window. Yep, I'm sure people have had to do that before. SD80 Max. Never had an SD80 before. I just know the SD90 suck. Hey. Yeah, I know, the lights are off, whatever. <laughs> Two black knobs. Yeah, these things, right? Let me try to back up. Are they interactive? Oh my gosh, I'll let her go die. Nope. Well, does the game have working wipe wipers? Yeah, it does. Oh, okay. Hmm. I know that's a silly question, but you never know. Yeah. Oh, hey, you can open the back door. Yeah. It's nice and warm out. Let's keep the back door open. Hey, why not the window as well? Let's open up the windows. Ah, it's so hot down here in SoCal, you know? 
Especially when you're uh, running through the Mojave's. Yeah. <laughs> we got a flasher. Let's see if we're lined up. Let's go back to the dispatcher screen. Where did you come from? Oh, that's us. <laughs> See that guy's engineer? Cranky old head? That's his name. That's don't, hilarious. Don't forget it. Looks like we're climbing up pretty good again. Oh, those black buttons don't work for the windshield wipers. Whatever, we're almost there. We're going to get rid of this unit because it sucks. Load sand. Gotcha. Looks like we got a train in the siding here. Ah, controls, keyboard, windshield, let's go to the bottom. Train, wiper control, V, okay, let's try that. Hey, 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 I can see again. Oh, Rio Grande engines. Yep. Yeah. I got that DLC. I had to, you know. Mm. Can't just have yellow crap all the time and yeah, mid train then all, your, then all your engine uh, engines would be broken yeah oh yeah there goes the wipers look at that I'm gonna open up every door on this unit so that when it sits there dead it just gets soaked and then animals are in there yeah waterlogged get some hobos in there yeah. This unit doesn't deserve it. <laughs> Can you open up the doors on the side to where the engine is? Yeah, I opened up the rear door. That's why it got louder in here. No, no, I mean like on the walkway, turn and open up all those doors. Oh, the engine compartments. Yeah, yeah. Ah, you might be able to. I forget how to walk around correctly because their system's a little bit different than most. Because I just oh. cheat and like jump around everywhere, so. Man, that train had mid dupers and it and dupers. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's supposed to be a coal train. That's what it's simulating. Oh. Yeah. Well, damn. Coal trains. Yeah, one of the many industries around here. To the right. Hold on, let me let me squat down so you can see because this stupid sun visor. Well, if that's a coal train. Is that supposed to be a coal mine? Mm, I don't think so. That thing's been parked there. Because I'm basically been playing in the same world this whole time. So it mm. saves everything from before. But I can go up and switch out that industry if I want, or any of the other ones around here. So there's actually an industry up here that has some cars for Bakersfield, so I think I might run down and get those before I head to Bakersfield. That's cool, because you'll be going down the loop. Yeah. Yeah, I'm interested to go this way because it'll be more difficult. Since I'm going down, you really got to keep it under control. Mm, yeah. So I'm interested to test that out. We'll see how fast I get things done in this yard up here. Favorite train liveries. Man, I have so many. Yeah. I don't know which ones would be my top ones. Here's a unique signal. It's called an approach restricting we call it AR15 because approach restricting is you're only good for 15 miles an hour 
So that's how you remember it, AR-15. It's a uh, yellow over lunar. Lunar? What is it giving you? The full moon? Yeah. That's something I didn't know. Fun fact. Sorry. Hold on, I can't even hear myself think with this thing blowing. That was a bad idea opening up that back door. Oh my gosh. It got loud. Uh, some of my favorite libraries. Uh, Southern Pacific, number one. Grew up around them. Dad hired out for them. Uh, Rio Grande, lumped that in there. Like them a lot too. Cotton Belt's a part of them too. Um, I'm trying to think of more modern stuff. Um, I really, when I was a kid, I loved when the wings on the front of the UP engines came back. Um, I believe they came back with the standard SD70s back in like 2000, 2001. I love that as a kid, but these days all of them have wings on it, so it's like whatever. Um, what else? I like the Norfolk Southern. I always thought their paint scheme was kind of cool. It's yeah. Ba it's basic. I like it. The Kansas City one. I just seen one uh, today. Yeah, those, <laughs> those are pretty cool. I like that. Morning at work. <laughs> Stern LX, that's that's good. That's good. I don't mind the I don't mind the BNSF, but it's the thing is, guys, is these days there's not much variety anymore. So it's either all yellow, pretty much, or all orange, pretty much, or all blue. So it's just I don't know. There's not too many places I like. I like the older stuff, like I said, like an old SP unit or an old Rio Grand unit. Like that's that's the best in my opinion. Janus Torno, is that how you say it? What's going on? Welcome to the chat. We're pulling into Mojave. This unit's dead on the front. Fuel pump issues apparently. And uh so we're going to get rid of it. It's yellow anyway, so it's worthless. So right here we have a, a restricting signal into the yard. Red over flasher. Flashing red, I should say. So. Important to know your signals. You get a lot of different signals when he's pulling the yards and stuff. So it's basically saying that we're diverting and we have to do restricted speed into the yard. So be able to stop in half the, the range of vision, all that good stuff. Yeah, 60s, 70s was a great heyday for multiple roads. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that statement. So what I did is I have a light set on the train, so I'm just using the automatics. And I'm just dragging this thing into the yard. It's just an easy way to keep it at a certain speed you just throttle up and down it's a great way to come in the sidings you can charge it to a siding set some air drag it into the siding and then once you get close to the signal you just throttle off great way to come over like you're cresting a grade so you're coming over a hill and you start to descend you set some brakes and drag it over the top and then you just throttle off as you start to go down it's called stretch braking it's my favorite it's a lot more dependable dynamics can be pretty wonky sometimes. Yeah, a lot more railroads back in the 60s and 70s, that's for sure. I mean, we got a bunch of monopolies now. It's pretty crazy how much it's changed. You saw probably a lot of cool stuff back in the day growing up around Pittsburgh, huh? Not too much stuff because it was all B&O. Yeah. And Conrail. 
you know, that which turned into, you know, um, so B and O turned into the Chessie system, which I didn't like the kitty cats on the paint scheme. I didn't like that. Mm -hmm. So we did have near us, you know, because of all the coal mines, we had a coal mine near us, Renton Mine, and uh, so the uh, Bessemer Lake Erie Railroad had like a small yard near us. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. We we actually when my when my best friend moved to this one spot, we walked the railroad tracks because it was a easier route to take to his house, or like we had bikes, and you'd have to stop and let a coal train go by because there's a lot of bridges in Pennsylvania. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, it was cool. <laughs> literally. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> You're a wise guy. <laughs> what if this thing will fit in the yard? That's a good. That's a good question. <laughs> I don't even know. Moving around a lot in the yard. These tracks must suck. Yeah. I mean, it's the EP, you know? <laughs> yeah, she hopping and bucking. Yeah. I like how that's added in, because it's like, you literally can't go too much over the 10 mile an hour speed limit in yards in the game, so. Yeah. Because you definitely derail. It's not hard to derail in this game. Yeah, the Delaware and Hudson, I actually had in HO an old shark nose, Delaware and Hudson at one time oh, that's cool they had yeah. a cool paint scheme I like that the blue and the silver right yeah yeah now those shark noses were pretty cool yeah I had a also a Fairba Fairbanks Morris um, in SP colors of all things Oh, nice! Like a little uh, switcher, right? No, it was a road engine. It was the uh, it was a C unit. Uh -huh. It had uh, six trucks, six axles, two trucks. <clears throat> nice. I can't remember what it was called. A train master, or something like that. Yeah. Thanks, more Morris train master. It had like high catapults on the side or catwalks. I mean. Nice. Unlike. Unlike a, like an SD9, uh, they were like higher. Oh, uh, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, they had a few yeah. of those back in the day. That was one of my favorite engines. And then I had, uh, I had a lot of Conrail because when we did our massive HO layout, Dad and I, because we were from Pittsburgh, so we, everything was back east. So I did Conrail and I had the... Uh, SD forty five dash twos with the big porches. Uh huh. Which you just took one home. Oh yeah, yeah. I think that was in the box. Yeah, yeah that's an SD forty, I believe, with the big porches. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. SD forty. That's what I meant. Yeah. No, I, I want to clean those things up. I'm trying to still figure out how I'm gonna get all that stuff back here. I got like three box boxes full of stuff. I think my yeah. parents are gonna road trip again in a few months, like in the fall or something like that. Cool. So I think that's when I'm gonna finally get all my stuff and that too. That would be nice. I'd definitely use that here and there. Yeah. Oh man, next time I'm in Atlanta, I'm gonna have to go check out that old shark nose. Yeah, that would be cool. That'd be cool. I like seeing those kind of unique locomotives, yeah. you know. Especially I from love it when back they, then. I love it when they had style. That was the 50s and the 60s, man. They still had style to everything. Yeah, like everything. Cars, toasters, like... Yeah. <laughs> fridges. Man. Like, these days, it's so, like... Well, how, how cheap can we make it, you know? Yeah, it functions. There you go. Yeah. yeah everything had style back then. I wish I could go back and see that as well. Yeah. I, I'm really blown away on how much your cab is rocking around. 
Yeah. This is nothing, man. I went down this branch line and, uh, oh, shoot. It's, it's right by San Bernardino. What is it? Not Fontana. It starts with a P. Can't remember, but old Pacific Electric branch line that comes off the Mojave just above Colton, where we left actually a couple days ago on this train. And uh, do that track. It probably hasn't been worked on since the Pacific Electric. It was so bad. Oh. Is I, that the one that feeds that steel, steel mill? No, um, that's off the Santa Kaiser Yard, is what you're thinking of. Uh, mm. There, right before the uh, 15, I believe. This yeah. was, uh, this feeds only one industry left. It's called Orange County Lumber. So I went up and worked a job for like a month where we'd service that once a week. Wow. Yeah, so. It was pretty cool, but it was kind of in the hood. So it was a little sketch, <laughs> especially when you're blocking a very busy road for uh, minutes on end. <laughs> Yeah, like when you when you have to wear a vest and carry an AR for your work, yeah. Yeah. Not the it, it's best. Not dangerous. Yeah. And there goes the work again. So we're pulling in. We're finally. Let's put a big old set on this bad boy. Pinning all the way on, which is this right here. You can see it moving. Center the reverser. Dim. Okay, so that's all the way on. Let's check the rear of our train. Do we fit? Oh, dude! Wait till you Did see you... this. <laughs> no, I'm not there yet. Oh, yeah. Oh, the, uh, the fine her. just made it. <laughs> That's hilarious. That is hilarious. Oh, wow. Like sitting right on the switch. Yep. Oh. Well, when you take off the head end engine... How are you going to move that thing around just to keep the one engine on it with it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you're going to have to keep one engine on. So and then bring that back and couple up to it. Alright, so let me go to the dispatcher screen. This is going to be a little fiasco. Alright, we're in the high yard. I'm going to give myself a signal to come out, which is I just did all the way to the right, about mid-screen. Cause I gotta back out, but I need this signal right here, or else things wouldn't do good. So let's uh, close the angle cock, open the coupler. Too much stretch. Yeah, that's right. I came and stretched. Dirt. Okay, so this is on. I need to release this unit. This is where this game gets a little tricky. You can only own one thing at a time. So it gets a little... It's just hard to work with sometimes. But once you get the hang of it, it's not. I'm just still kind of kind of new. What's going on, Kerbo? I didn't put anything on the ground today, so that's cool. Chalk it up as a win. Yet. Yet. So far. So far. Yeah. All right. So let's go into the c c cab. There we go. So I need to do actually. See, I'm just bouncing around all over the place, but this is part of being new. All right. So let's get back in the cab. We're barely hanging out of the yard. So, uh. I want to try to do the do. Alright. Dynamics off. So, what we got to do here is just give it a little push. 
Oh yeah, push in, push in all the slack. Yep. Is that your idea? Yep. This is what you gotta do if you're trying to uh, get a knuckle or uncouple in the real world. So when it's stretched out, you can't do it. I can't believe we literally just fit with the train. Ah oh, man, that's great. This one unit wouldn't fit in the yard, so we gotta back this DPU out. <laughs> wow. This is great. Alright, so now I think we'll just uh, release the independent and roll back. I don't even have to use anything. Yeah, it just popped in and say howdy. I'm gonna keep you live, have fun. Oh yeah, no worries, man. We all got lives. Do you plan on playing some run eight in the future, Kerbo? Or are you busy doing that uh forget the name of it, it's survival. Survival game. Are we uncoupling? We are not uncoupling. Why is that? Why do you gotta do this? The brakeman. I know. Kyle's in the cab trying to stay warm. Yeah. You know Kyle ain't getting out. There's yeah. No way in hell. I know. It's, it's great. Alright, so let's push this thing forward again. Why did I go to the front? Good lord. <laughs> we just need to cue up the theme music. Yep. Cue the circus music. <laughs> yeah. The Benny Hill theme song. Yeah. So let's push up against this thing again. This game doesn't have an interactive control stand, so that's why it's kind of tricky. So. I think the game just released everything, including the head in. That's great. Oh, wow. That's great. Alright, so that should be good right there. So let's set the independent. Then I'll throttle off. I'll try to do the thing. You know the thing. You know the thing. Arm test, yeah. Yep, good old arm test. So what was happening there is I think the slack of the train was rolling out. But oh. it shouldn't be doing that because I had air on it from the head in, so it should be stretched out. I think the game is getting a little confused, so I'm just going to have to apply some brakes here to the rear. Let's apply one more. All right, let's go back to the other side. So to double check all this, let's go stand out right in the middle of main one because you know there's nothing, no trains coming or anything. Let's tie down the power because we're supposed to do that. Wow, we almost used all of our fuel coming all the way up here from Colton. Wow. Outstanding. Fly. All right, so let's go back to the rear and try this again. This is actually a more modern GE unit, but the creators of the game made it in Southern Pacific, so that's kind of cool. Closed. Pin. Still open. Okay. So let's try uh, rolling back now, not messing everything up. And this handbrake is still on. Yeah, there's a few little things with this game where it's like you try to kind of separate things and um, yeah, it just has some issues, but it's nothing major. It's just I'm not used to probably switching and doing all this stuff either, so.
is what it is. Alright, so let's try this again. Let's uh, ease off on the independent. Hopefully we don't get any run out. Yeah, first day on the job, pretty much. <laughs> Tell you what, man. Real railroading <laughs> comes to be a lot easier than this game. <laughs> yeah, no joke. Uh... Especially if you have the people. Oh, uh, this stupid thing. I closed the angle cock. Good lord. Closed. Closed. Alright, what's your problem? Ah, dear, dear, dear. All right, let's get back in the cab now. Holy crap! When you're switching, it's kind of like using remotes. So it's it's just weird jumping in and out for me in this game. Are we going to get it? Are we going to get it? Oh, right on it. That was almost a perfect stop. Come on, baby. Move back for me. us up. I'm just going to sit him in this track over here. We'll call it good. Yep, RCL. Gotta love it. Probably my least favorite thing I did on the railroad. It's just weird when it's not in your hands, you know, I mean the keyboard, yeah, it's in my fingertips, but it's not the same. If anything, it's a lot more, it's a lot harder to run these like a remote on the keyboard than it is from an actual box. Apply the independent. We wish. <clears throat> you should use that unit to pull off your dead one. Well, I'm gonna. Irony. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use this power up front to shove it into this track over here. And then uh, we'll start doing the thing in the place. First, I gotta apply. Actually, I'm gonna take these cars, and I think about it, I could take them with me. So let me gather my thoughts here. I actually gotta think for once. That's the cool thing about uh, this game, guys. Is like you actually have to think if you're gonna do any kind of switching. So that's for Bakersfield. ID HL that's in uh, Bakersfield I'm just trying to see what cars are for what Bakersfield and these are for Mojave so we're leaving these cars right here so let's tie these down so if you look down here destination tag it's a tagger so you can tag rail cars and then take them to a certain industry. So MJ is just Mojave in general. So we're in Mojave. These are potash cars. So I put these on the train like they're going to be going to Trona. But we can't go to Trona. 
So I was just kind of simulating it just to put some extra uh, extra cars on our train. We have one block to set out for Mojave. The rest we're taking to Bakersfield. Unless, uh, then we'll see if there's any other blocks of cars is what they call them. If there's any other blocks that are for Bakersfield as well, then if they are, we'll put those babies on there and do our thing. So let's do this before we forget. I want to close the angle cox. Couplers stretched out. Thought I'd try. So let's. Uh... So now these cars went to emergency. You'll hear that. The air dump. So that's basically we got handbrakes plus that. So we're in good shape. All right. So these box cars need to go. Right. So I think what we'll do let's see where these cars M O N. Where is M O N at? Okay, so that's up in Tehachapi. The monolith. So that's that mine up there. These are for Mojave. I've got a few for Fresno, which we're heading that way, but I don't want to dick with that right now. Oh, yeah. I'm okay. Just kind of going along trying to get a game plan in my head of what we need to do here. So we need to set out this block of box cars. Pick up this block right here. And then we can come back to our train. So I think what we're going to do first, we got to go right here, close this angle cock. Let's connect the air hose. All right, so that'll be our last car that we come out with. The set is lead unit. Okay. So let's jump in the cab and make sure that it's up to snub. Independent is not on, so let's put that on before we start messing with anything. It's awful dark in here. <laughs> Parking brake. Got that. Spell sand. Dim. Dim. Everything should be. Let's turn on the beacon. Why not? Will it let us? And then is there any lights, sanding, panel lights, there we go. Now we can see what is going on. All right, so let's try to do this without screwing up too hard. Mister, what unit are you in? <clears throat> uh, this SP unit, the 8717. It's the second what? second out. So yeah, what, what, what was it? I missed that part. Uh, what do you mean? What kind of engine is it? Uh, it's a tunnel motor. Oh. Full sitting on the tunnel motor. Alright. Alright, so let's see what we can do here. We go back on the ground. Keeps things a little bit less erratic. Okay. Release the independent so we can uh, get a, a knuckle on this. Just standing in the middle of main two, no big deal. No, yep, you're okay. Yeah, there's nothing coming I can see. Any day now. Any day now. Any day now. Any day now. So tiny, so we don't have to work. I 
here she comes. All right, let's go back up to the head end. We got a knuckle. At least we should have. Nope, other way. There we go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to line these switches up. Okay, we're already lined up. We got this dead unit on the head end for those of you that haven't been with us this whole time. It's not dead, it's just working impaired. <laughs> it's taking a break oh, on the job, that's what it's doing. Yeah. Little siesta. <laughs> we like tunnel motors better anyways. Not this modern yellow crap. Which probably diminished my hearing incredibly in the <laughs> real world. <laughs> Just saying. You know, combined with also the... Uh, lead paint and the asbestos uh -huh. <laughs> in the cab yeah you're not doing too good dude you know how many times i was like in the hump like in the bowl out of and it was like a really windy day down cold and then i walked past like some hazmat car and there's like it's com it's content coming out of it and i was like oh boy i'm gonna get cancer oh, <laughs> God. yeah not a fun day Not the best. Not the best. Alright. Let's set the uh, handbrake on this piece of crap. This is where you go to die. <laughs> That's going to be so funny driving around this map after a while to see dead UP engine. I'm going to have to do an episode where I pick up my power and take it back to the yeah. engine house, dude. That's going to be hilarious. Uh, Alright. So let's see if we can uncouple this thing. Have I ran this route in real life? No. Uh, the only route I ran was the Cajon Pass. Which is, you know, pretty cool in itself. But I always wanted to run this route, but never got an opportunity. So, what are you going to do? Come on, roll back for me. There we go. Now we're going to make a decertification move and run in between two pieces of equipment. So now we're going to pull out into the main. i got to drop some crap off in the yard. So... Oh, that was pretty right there. When you said that was pretty on my video, that's when you ran between the two engines. <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah. That's hilarious. Is this signal? Okay. So we can own that. Alright, now what track do I want to go into? That's... That's the main question here. So we're picking up those cars down there. Good lord, they're far down there. Hmm. Let's fly around for a second so I can uh, see what we gotta do here. We gotta pick up those cars. So let's line this switch right here. Alright, so we're lying for that. I think we'll drop off these cars in this kind of cab track pocket here. 
will block everybody, piss them off. These are lined up. Those are lined up. Never trust your targets, even in a video game. Don't don't ever test trust the uh, switch targets. And yes, there are switch targets that are not. They're basically mounted backwards in the real world. I don't know how they do that these days, but they did. All right, so now we're good to go. Now we need to pull this thing out and do the do. Let's do it like this, huh? Or it should be a run one or two, I don't know. You will work on the railroad one day? Yeah, I mean, you might as well. Heard if you hand push it, then it may move. Funny story. Now, I am a bigger guy, but I d was able to move two empty box cars on flat ground by myself. And that's no BS. It can be done. I actually coupled. I needed to, like, I needed to couple them together, and there was, like, a foot, six inches. So I'm like, whatever, it was a long day, I was pissed. So I, I coupled two boxcars to the rest of the cut by hand. It's pretty funny. No one believed me, but whatever. One of these units does not sound good. I'm not, I'm not liking what I'm hearing. Uh-oh. By the time we get to Bakersfield, we're going to have no more power. Yeah, you're going to have to pick up some power. Mm-hmm. But there's a there's a service rack there, luckily. So. Oh. We'll go there and jack some more power if we need to. Yeah, man, me and you playing this game. Oh, this would be great for switching. You would really like the physics of this game it's 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 pretty tricky like it is in real life so we don't want to go too fast because we don't want to put anything on the ground <laughs> no the box cars were on the rails when I pushed them I swear they weren't. I didn't derail them. I didn't put them on the ground. Important hmm. key note of that statement. I should clarify. Thanks for catching me on that one. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Please don't say straight track. That's worse. <laughs> Does anybody know how to get on the side of these things? I know there's a way to where you can get on the side of these and like ride them. That would be kind of helpful. And this is how long it takes to actually switch cars. Isn't it great? Tangent track, it's called. Yeah, I know. I wasn't. I wasn't the guru at the railroad that had all the specific names. Everyone laughed at me all the time because I had all these common world names for stuff on the railroad. I grew up racing motocross, so if there was a curve, I called it a corner. Like, yeah, we're about to go around that corner, and they're like, a corner? What the hell are you talking about? Is everything all right? F12 next to the car. Okay, rad. I'll have to uh, remember that. Rolling, rolling, rolling. 
So we got these kind of box cars up. She's wanting to go now. Don't go too fast. We don't want to derail. Important note, Mojave Yard is on a 1% grade. Oh, nice. Yeah, so it's really fun, especially when you get a... I was talking to the Bakersfield crews one time. They're like, yeah, when you get a, a Trona coal train, you got to tie down every car. I'm oh. Like, I'm like, dude, I don't feel bad for the conductor on that job. Holy cow. Let me rollin', rollin'. That's your favorite band, isn't it, Martin? Don't get me started. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. But he's so tough and gangster. <laughs> Yeah, wearing khakis. <laughs> what the heck, dude? <laughs> Just because you wear your hat backwards, that doesn't mean you're a man. <laughs> it just means your name might be Kyle. Yeah. We're just great. kidding. If any of you guys wear your hat backwards, we're very sarcastic. Rolling, rolling, rolling. How many times do you think it's actually snowed like this in Mojave Yard when a crew had to switch out? That must have been fun. Oh, wow. <sighs> Just a friendly reminder, I also play a lot of Transport Fever 2, so if you guys are into that game, I got a bunch of uh, custom maps, maps I've been making been trying to make them as realistic as possible, whether it's the uh, terrain, the routes themselves, the signaling. So I think you guys would really enjoy that. Um, all that stuff's on the, our Steam profile. Link in the description of this video for that. So if you want to check out our stuff for Transport Fever 2, you'll, I think you'll really like it. So I focus on the railroad side of things in that game. So... Come on, I wanted a nice smooth stop, and now she don't want to roll. Now she don't want to roll. So one of these days, I got to come down here and basically be a local. Switch out a lot of this crap. You know how you zip around? Can you zip around to different trains? Like, say, if you were to take that one down, could you switch this area out and then come up and grab what you switched out? Yeah, I could. I could, like, come up here. There's power not too far past this. I could come up and grab that power switch out. Like, I don't need these units that I have. You can uh, relinquish ownership of different trains and stuff, so then you can uh, use other trains. If that makes sense. <clears throat> Handbrake set. I always just, just in case. I know. It's not. It's stretched out. That's okay. Put into emergency. It's your best friend when you're leaving cars right there. Yeah, I got the uh, Tehachapi route. So I made this route that we're on in Transport Fever 2. And it's as accurate to real life scales I could get it. It's pretty darn good. Um, made a whole map of Southern California, which includes the uh, Cajon Pass. The uh, harbor down there, Long Beach, all the way to Beaumont. So you got Beaumont Hill. You got all sorts of stuff, so I'd check that one out too. I just got done making a map of the California coastline from Simi Valley up to Atascadero. So you got Santa Barbara, Oxnard, Pismo, San Luis Obispo, with the grade coming out of San Luis Obispo. So yeah, all these things, man. Go check that stuff out. You guys will love it. Alright. Should have a knuckle. Yippee, we did it. If you want to see what stuff I'm currently working on for Transfer Fever 2, go to our Patreon. It 
post on there what I'm doing daily. Just started that up, and uh, yeah, you can see what I'm currently working on. I'm currently working on LA to San Diego. It's coming out really good, so I'm not just saying that. I hate clickbait just like everyone else, so. You did just say that. Did I? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Get it? Can we get it? Can we get it? Can we get it? No. Well, maybe, maybe. I have the sound no. down, but every time it does it, it still sounds off. <laughs> Just trying to get a nice, smooth stop, but she didn't want to go. Flip. Activate switch. Alright, so we're coming to get these cars, and we're going to go back to the train, and we'll see how far we get towards uh, Bakersfield, huh? If I had lightning come down and touch the rail in a thunderstorm while working, uh, no, I haven't. Oh. That would be freaking cool to see. would be cool to see yeah if you guys would hit that uh, like button for us that helps the YouTube algorithm leave a comment all that stuff helps a lot I appreciate it we're gonna be doing a lot more of this in the future and I'm starting to get the hang of this game a little bit so it's not gonna be so rough to watch I'm sure you guys are like nails on a chalkboard at times but this is it's pretty tricky these things loaded all right sweet so our train build if we want to build a realistic train you want your loads basically on the head end so we got that going on down there with our pickups so that's nice <clears throat> this is the part of the game where you can't make a game completely realistic because as you can see I'm slowing down speeding up it's because I'm just looking at it if I were the engineer or if I had an engineer with me right now, they could feel it. So they would know how to come into the yard without having to slow down, speed up, slow down like I am. I'm just trying to keep it at a speed to where we don't derail and we don't break any rules. We are 10 miles an hour in any rail yard. So this is where the video game becomes a video game. So just a side note. <sighs> Probably doing like six or seven miles an hour right now, which is whatever. At least the clouds look pretty good in this game, you know? They can get the uh, good graphics for the rest of it. The game, I think, will be sitting pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what are you going to do, you know? So it looks like make I got to <laughs> make a mod. That's what we need on this game, everybody. We need some modders to get on this game. It's endless potential. It's just not well known enough, unfortunately. So, spread the word with your friends. This game's pretty sweet. I did, um... If anyone's familiar with the beginning of the Mojave sub, you come off of Colton there at the Y, and you start heading north. Eh, that wasn't too bad of a hook. Not too hard. Anyways, uh, you go over the 210 freeway, there's a bridge, and there, there's a wash there as well. And, uh, man, we came over that one day, and it was, I mean, it was pouring rain for, like, days straight, and we went over that, and the whole wash that are going down in the San Bernardino was a river. I hadn't, wow. I've never seen water move like that ever, and, you know, that's a really wide wash, if you look at it closely, and I was like, man, this, I always thought, there's no way this thing fills up with water, like, from side to side. Well, I tell you what, that day was... And that was something to something to see firsthand. 
Yeah, in California, our rivers are dry. And yeah. A massive brain. A river is a stream, if there's a stream at all. <laughs> yeah, if there's anything at all, yeah. Yeah. So all these cars were tied down, so I'm hitting the handbrakes on these babies. So now we're going to cut in the air. I don't know how fast you can open these angle cocks because there's only closed, partial, or open. In real life, you got to open them real slow. Um, so I'll let it partially open and then I'll open it all the way just to make sure. Yep, it is a simulator, not a video game. That's a good way to look at it. That's a good way to look at it. I feel like if they can just improve the graphics, if they can overhaul the graphics a little bit. Um, it could be both easily, and they could dominate. Yeah. They could dominate the train simulator world with this game because it is super good. So I'd really like to see that. Yeah, see that? It just went to emergency. Sweet. <laughs> so let's do things the easy way. Let's tie down power and then we'll recover really quick and then we'll be on our way. Good lord that thing's low. Good lord. Alright, so now we're gonna we're recharged. We're not in emergency. Yay. I'm surprised you guys didn't hear that. <laughs> Partial count to 10 to 15, then go to open. Okay, that's good to know. Learn something new every day. Yeah, but will you remember it? That's that's a different question. I left the railroad because I have brain damage. So, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Literally brain damage. Literally. <laughs> You wouldn't know it, would ya? <laughs> yeah. I slur my words a little bit, but besides that... <laughs> <laughs> well, you and the president have something in common. <laughs> <laughs> Not to get political or anything, but yeah, that was good. <laughs> Can't deny that. Sorry. Yeah, Edison's been flying an old CH-46 around here, and because of the clouds, because of the rain, he just flew over my apartment and it shook my apartment. I'm surprised you guys didn't hear that. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> this guy. Most railroads have brain damage in order to stick around. <laughs> that is true. You have to be one dumb bastard to want to work at the railroad. <laughs> uh, man, we're rolling hard today. Yeah, you guys peel the paint off the inside of the cab and then eat it. <laughs> Yeah, that's how you stay awake. You didn't know that? <laughs> There's a component called lead, and it gives you energy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I agree with you, Lander 484, 100%. <sighs> Alright, out of these four out of these four units we got, which one's your favorite? Let's hear it. Don't don't vote for the yellow one. Please don't. Come on. You're better Wait, than that. Wait, what do we got here? Rio uh, Grande, SP, SP and who else? The Run 8 train simulator itself has a paint scheme. It's that gray with yellow slashes, kinda like the Rio Grande.
My, mine would be Rio Grande or SP. Yeah. Same. I don't think I'm going to refuel these things. I could click the re refuel button. I want to see how far they make it, you know? Science! For science! For science! SP. Oh, you can refuel yep. them up anywhere. Yeah, you can actually take them to the fuel racks and they'll do it. Yeah, just drink a bucket of paint. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you know, paint smells pretty good, if you didn't know. Just kidding. All right, back to our train, then. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's see if we can get this thing to roll, huh? It's going to run out. The slack. Okay, the slack in this game, man. It's good. That's something the other games don't have. Any kind of slack. And it's not just like some... Well, Railroads Online has the slack. Oh, they do, they do. I should say modern. Let me clarify. Yeah. Let me clarify. All right, looks like we got a pretty good pace rolling back to the yard. We'll button up the train. I got to remember to go down there and cut in some air and all that good stuff because I split it up in a few spots. And then we'll head on to Bakersfield and we'll see how far we get before I got to jump off. But I think I still got the time. Rio Grande and the Wheeling. Yeah, they do. Well, actually, the uh, Wheeling and Lake Erie actually has some Rio Grande tunnel motors in their fleet, and they kept them in their paint, so that's pretty cool. I think there must have been somebody that used to work for the Rio Grande or had ties with the Rio Grande at the Wheeling and Lake Erie because it, they're so uh, they're so similar. And they've been... That's cool. Yeah, and they... I think they even have some uh, GP40s from the Rio Grande that they kept in their paint scheme as well. So there's something going on there. I'm not mad at it. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Sniffing old newsprint works better. <laughs> you would know, man. <laughs> I'm a young buck still. Can you vouch for that, papers. Martin? What the <laughs> yeah. What you mean, tablet? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, I'm not that. Back in my day. Back in my day, you had to drive yourself. It was weird. Yeah. Imagine that. Oh, we're getting kind of like close. Like, that, that's your future right there. Yeah, I'm... I'm okay. I'm too old. I'll be dead. Yeah, you'll be telling your grandchildren, back in my day, we used to have to drive a car. Back in my day, the trains didn't levitate. They were on rail. Yeah. But the Union Pacific was still worthless. Just like <laughs> it is now. Oh, man. Too heavy of a set on the Independent. I I was rolling pretty good. I was rolling pretty good. Wait, what's going on? Oh, I was rolling the train back in the yard, but I was in increasing the brakes a little bit to slow it down, and it, it was a little bit too much, so it came to a stop. Oh. I can't believe how dark it is. Yeah, it's pretty much nighttime right now in this game. It has a 24-hour cycle. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, with different weather, like we see right now. All sorts of stuff. I could change it if I want to back to day, but it looks pretty cool right now. We're rolling back. Back in my day, people ran the train instead of them being automated. Yep, I know. My dad's an engineer for the UP still, and he hates 
all this automated stuff. Hates it. I don't blame him. It takes the fun out of it, you know, like. And the computer's worse than anyone on the railroad. It's unbelievable. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is uh, actually we need to get a knuckle down there. We're flying around the map like Superman on Quaaludes. <clears throat> Lamb, did you just ram the hazmat tankers? Yeah, so what? You know? Oh my goodness, I'm Telling. I'm telling. All right, I'm gonna wait 15 I, I'm gonna seconds. This, I'm gonna take that video clip and send it to your dad. <laughs> yeah. He would kick your ass. You even suck in a game. <laughs> <laughs> he would say that. <laughs> hey, it worked. Thanks Damn for the boy. tip. <laughs> <laughs> you even suck in the game. <laughs> That's one thing I wish I would have gotten to do is uh, been able to run with my dad teaching me. That would have been cool. That would have been super cool. Yeah. Just checking to see if there's any brakes applied. There isn't. So this is the rear of our train now. Be this tanker. Close, disconnected, all right. Let's see if, hey, it worked. We got enough of a roll. That's why I always try it, just in case. So let's go to the head end. Tie these brakes real quick. Actually, I'm gonna pull ahead and we'll stop, do the EOT and all that good stuff, and then we'll get going. All right. <clears throat> I like the SB paint scheme that was black and silver. Yeah, I believe that was called the uh, Black Widow. That was some cool stuff. Um, I agree with that. Yeah. Uh, what do I know about Quaaludes? Nothing. The only thing I know about is that it's a funny word and it's a drug. You and your friend should stream this game together. One of you playing as conductor and the other engineer. Yeah, seriously, we should. Uh, we have videos from playing railroads online. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that game, but it's like a 1800s a narrow gauge old steam railroad that you can build. So we got that. We got like six episodes of us playing that together. You guys would love that. So subscribe. It's a lot more funnier too. Yeah, we add in memes and all sorts of good stuff. So, uh, yeah, go check that out after you watch this video. It's basically the same thing, but yes, I would like to do it on here as well. Um, hopefully someday. So the train's still stretching out. So I'm going kind of slow. But yeah, this would be a lot of fun. With uh, me being the conductor and him being an engineer, vice versa. Hey, fun fact, Quaaludes were outlawed in 1984. Right on. That's funny. <laughs> outlawed in 1984. So before that, free game. <laughs> are we still moving on the head end? This thing's taking an awful long time to stretch out. There we go. Here it comes. As a conductor, you're always listening for the slack. That'll save your life. Let me tell you what. Multiple times I was going to get thrown from a car because I had a terrible engineer. And uh, I heard it coming, so I jumped off instead. <laughs> All right, so let's get in the cab now. We're ready to rock and roll. This is a pretty looking cab, I must say. 
cabs in this game are spot on, and pretty much everything is uh, to interact with, so that's cool. Oh, yeah, look at those brights. Look at them. Hey, Kyle, glad you made it up here. Thanks for letting me do all the work. No, don't worry about it, man. <laughs> Turn on the sand. All now the yard. Okay, so let's ease off. Independent, independence off. So let's throttle up. <laughs> yeah. A terrible engineer that lets the slack roll out on you? That never happens. No, it doesn't. Silly me. Yeah. What's great, too, is when they lie to you. When you're like, hey, man, uh, you almost threw me in front of the train, which almost killed me. What's up with that? And they're like, oh, I had a 20-pound set on. Bullshit, you had a 20-pound set on. You wouldn't be able to move the train with a 20-pound set on. Think I'm stupid? Had that happen one time. That was funny. So we're coming out of the yard. 10 MPH. Let's see a yeah, much better view out of this window. Yeah, I like. That's why I use these old units in this game mainly because they're good. So. <clears throat> All right. So we're looking pretty good on the dispatcher screen. Uh, cop, I don't know how to say your name, C-O-P-T-R-N, uh, I'm guessing you're a railroader or used to be, what's your background? <clears throat> I'm always, uh, interested in fellow railroaders. Jumping on here, oh, hey Kyle, he's looking at me, well, not really at me, look at his eyes, yeah. He's looking through you. He's looking through me. He's got mo he's got 2020 monster energy vision. He's like you're dead to me. <laughs> you're dead to me, brother. You made me switch engines. You're dead to me. <laughs> Even though you did all the work. Mm -hmm. Never ran at night before, so this is cool, especially with it snowing. I dig it. I dig it. Man, look at those eyes. I finally got to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. UP for 10 years, right on firing now. Ah, you're getting in the seat. I really wanted to get in the seat, man. I loved running more than being a conductor. Good Lord. Running is way more fun. And you stay awake at night because you're actually doing something. So, uh, where you at? What service unit? If you don't mind sharing, uh, <clears throat> let's turn this stupid bell off, huh? We're a little under 10 coming out of the yard. We'll just leave her there. Let's check out the rear just to make sure. Got an EOT. We're legal. Those aren't hazmat cars, so we could put uh, helpers up against it if we needed to. Uh, yeah, I don't want to be on the ground at 50. Yeah, I hear that, man. <laughs> Tell you what, that ballast is not your friend. People don't understand how bad the ballast is on just your knees, hips, feet. Ease and no good. <clears throat> Roseville, nice. Nice. So, Nevada, up there in like Winnemucca. Roseville. I almost swapped to Roseville with a guy out of Bakersfield, so this would have been my route. That would have been cool. But, um, had to leave the railroad, unfortunately. So, well, fortunately and unfortunately, I guess is the way you can look at it. Kyle, Kyle peeking over the dash. What are you doing over there? I'm playing with the knobs, Kyle. Shut up. P 
playing with my buttons. Don't worry about me, Kyle. Those of you who don't know, that's uh, Conductor Kyle. Drinks a lot of Monster, drives the F-150. You know the deal. Says bro a lot. Yeah. It says bro and broad. Brosive. All that, all that weird stuff, you know. <laughs> Unless you have to work in the yard. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever uh, go over this route, man? Did you ever work out of Bakersfield? <clears throat> Bell at the whistle board. I don't have a newer uh, unit now to turn on the bell for me when I honk the horn, so... <laughs> I have no clue if we'll even make it over the hill. We got four units. They're not very powerful. We're just going to run it and see what happens. You got sand, right? Oh, yeah, I got sand going. I need all the help I can get. Only down to Bakersfield, never south. Okay, right on. <clears throat> Hey, uh, seems like there's some pretty run eight savvy people on here. How do you change the bell and horn sound for this unit? Because it's got the SD70 ACE horn and it drives me nuts. Because we're not in one of those. Drives me absolutely nuts. see how our rear end's doing. Hey, let's boogie. We're out of the yard. We are at restricted speed, though. Till the next signal indication. But I doubt we'll be doing over 20. Wow, we're in run 8 already. <laughs> Whoops. This might be kind of slow. Green signal, so now we're good to do whatever speed we want, but we're not going to be doing very good. Yeah, four units. Probably should have thought that about that one a little, a little better than I did. How's the uh, rail traffic out there in Nevada? Is it down through there? It seems like a lot of these routes have kind of dwindled over the years. Besides like the Yuma Sub or one of these main directional routes. <coughs> Control F3, all right. Uh, let's see here. EP2. Ford. <laughs> yes, there's a Ford car horn. <laughs> wow. That's great. You'll hear it. That's a GE horn. That one's pretty good. That's a GE horn. That's the one I hate. That's an older school horn. Ah, oh, shit. Are we stalling out? We stalled out. Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm not there yet in the video. Oh, God. <laughs> Hold on. I got to finish the horn, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Down only because of no cruise. Yeah, it's the same thing down where I used to work, man. My dad's down in the Los Angeles service unit, and they got nobody ever. So... All right, back to the horns. Let's see here. Yeah, you were actually like sliding down the hill. Yeah, it happens, man. 
Huh. Conductor Kyle, I'll yell it at you. Yeah. Sorry guys, I know this is probably annoying, but uh, I need a good horn, man. There we go. I'm pretty sure that's what they used to uh, used to use back in the day. Let's hear that bell. Yep, that's an old school bell, so now we're good to go. <laughs> yeah, we stalled out, man. We're a UP train. What do you expect? Yeah. There's no power. Alright, so... <laughs> uh... All right, so let's tie some brakes because I gotta run down to the yard and get some power to put on the rear of this bad boy. What we'll have to do is we'll just have to run a DPU, which I don't like doing because these units aren't DPU configured in real life. But we'll have to do it <coughs> so that we can use the helpers to push us up the grade. So my Punch ended up being correct, unfortunately. Not to fear. Alright, so what I need to do is I need to relinquish this. Alright, let's go back to Mojave. Luckily, we're not far outside of it. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, how many units we got there? Three units, but those are those are dumb units. I think we got, this one's a little farther away, I know, but these are some legit SP units right here, so we got to go with them. Alright, so this will be free agent train. Relinquish. Okay, it says lead unit. We got fuel. West Colton Helper Pool. If you had a friend playing with you, you can do man helpers in the game now. Yeah, that'd be rad. I'd be all over that. Now, uh, this thing isn't linked with the other ones, that's why. Okay. So we got two units here. Alright. Let's line this out of the thing. Okay, we can line out to the main so we can... Let's do that. I gotta go to the dispatcher screen. Derpity derp. Okay. <clears throat> Let's make sure all these are lined up. That's lined up. So for these helpers, you'd have to get uh, authority to come out to the main line from the dispatcher. But I am the dispatcher, so. <laughs> All right, I think we're pretty much ready to go. I'll probably forget something. We'll put it on the ground, but whatever. This guy will know what I'm talking about. If you're, uh, if the rest of the guys at the railroad found out you were playing this game, how bad do you think they would just shit on you? Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Let's wait for the response. <laughs> Luckily, I'm not there anymore. Yeah. Oh, pink on the hand throw switch to the yeah, main. Yeah, that's what I'm talking know. about. I'd love to see your dad's reaction. Uh, he'd be like, what oh. the hell are you doing wasting your time yeah. doing that? <laughs> Yeah, especially your dad, of all people. Yeah. He's a good guy, but he's old school. All right, so we'll put in run one for now. It'll wound up, but <clears throat> all right. He's actually super calm when I came last time, so I think he's doing better, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Old dogs can learn new tricks. Yeah, yeah. They would laugh at me out of the cab. Exactly. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly. He knows. He knows. Which is a shame, because it's like... I view this stuff as like... Hey, there's car guys. There's truck guys. 
well, it's no different. It's a big machine, makes a lot of power, you know, that's why the hate. There's definitely people that go a little overboard, like in everything, but, uh, I've never understood why it was so frowned upon. Yeah. Because it's, it's not that big of a deal, man. As long as you do a good job, nobody should care. What's funny though, and he can attest to this too, there's a there's a lot of railroaders that won't admit that they like the railroad, like that they're train buffs, you know what I mean? But they won't act like it and they won't ever say it. But you know, you could tell. You can tell. Uh. Yeah, helper crews usually do know their stuff unless they're extra bored. <laughs> it's cool to see they actually uh, brought back manned helpers on a lot of the UP stuff. Beaumont yeah, I see Hill. the helpers every day. Yeah, Beaumont Hill. At least in our area would be the one. I don't know if they are on Tehachapi or not. Closet foamers, yep. They know better than to open their mouth, that's for sure. And yes, video game is a lot cheaper than building your model in your basement. I agree. That's why we're doing yep. this right now. <laughs> I don't got yep. like uh, 20 grand or however much you need to make a really awesome one like I would go for. So. God, the money I've spent in HO and G scale. Like, holy crap. Yeah, well, Golden Wonder here, he had a really nice layout back in the day. Yep. Back when I had no life and a high-paying job. <laughs> <laughs> now I just have no life and a low-paying job. <laughs> yeah, but I'm happy now. <laughs> All the time in the world playing some video games. Yeah. I want to get that VR headset and do that uh, that one layout game. Yeah, that'd be sweet. Especially because they're adding more stuff to it. <clears throat> I don't think my eyes could handle the VR, man. I don't know. It's the same as looking at a computer screen. Yeah. As long as you don't have a weak neck, you're all right. <laughs> As long as you're not some sort of pencil neck. Yeah, <laughs> literally. <laughs> I'm sure they're probably pretty good these days. I'd have to yeah. Imagine. I'm slowing down a little bit here because I don't know what these switches are rated for and they're hand thrown, so. Nobody knows. Because if I put the helpers on the ground, then we'd be double screwed, so. Oh, yeah. We're getting it all today, guys. Holy moly. Hey, uh, anybody, does anybody know if I turn on dispatcher auto, if these hand thrones will go back to uh, straight rail, or do I have to do it? I know you have to in real life, but... I, I'm lazy, you know. <laughs> hey, it's an uh, inter intermediate signal, so I can go past this at 20. Not exceeding 20, I should say. Just checking, just checking. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this thing's surging really bad. Great. Is this thing going to break down? <laughs> you have to manually fix them? Alright, I'll have to remember to do that before I uh, get out of town. Let's play. Let's see how hard we can make a hook. Oh. Here we come. Yeah, once once I turn on dispatcher auto, now that we're in Mojave, we should be good to go. Out of town. 
brother. Yep. How great is it now that safety stops are gone, huh? Good lord, I hated those things. Yes, I understand there's a train coming. I'm standing right here. You just have to stop before you make a hook every single time. For your safety. Oh. Yeah. Tell me about it. That was almost too perfect. Yeehaw, cowboy. Alright. I said there's a flashlight. Holy crap. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Go for 50. Up. Oh, sorry. More like 10. That'll do. Handbrakes on just in case it rolls back when I cheat the air test and all that crap. F for flashlight. Oh, hell yeah. Dude, you're a lifesaver. Can you just watch like every time I stream so I don't look like an idiot? Talking about it. Huh? You're talking about it. <laughs> yeah. Can I ask so questions, man? Know. Yeah, it's true. These people. But my volume is all the way down, by the way, and it still makes a noise. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> Alright, how are we looking up her? Alright, we should be good to go. Uh, for independent, please. All right, so let's go back to the rear. Please, please, back to the head end. Man, can you imagine being able to teleport like this in real life? Oh my goodness. Oh man, we would screw that up as humans. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Think of all the drunk people teleporting. <laughs> I'm just thinking of the conductors, man. They're like, oh yeah, I'm at the, uh, I'm at the shell getting a hot dog. Sorry, I'll be right there. Because <laughs> they <Yeah>. just teleport <laughs> to go get a snack somewhere. <laughs> Then there'd be more rules about teleporting on the railroad. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What do you mean? I didn't teleport home to eat dinner with my wife? What? Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh. Spend time with my wife. <laughs> you know, I like I being at work railroad. all the time. <laughs> yeah. I work for the railroad. You know, I don't have a life. Yeah. Let's turn all this crap back on. Alright. Round two, huh? Just gonna it's send round it. Two. <laughs> Just gonna send it. Gonna send it. Let's do a load test. <sighs> Let's go back to the rear, make sure those things are loading. Yep. Sounds like it on the front. <laughs> There's an EOT back here. That's great. All right. Well, we're stretched out, so that's a good thing. We're not going to break this thing in half. Too easy. All right. Let's let's do the two. It's awful dark in here. 
Yeah, Kyle will get scared, dude, when you're gone. Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry, I just had to run down there and do everything again. Oh, we're rolling backwards again. What do you think is higher, Kyle's F-150 or the cab of this unit? Oh, that's a good question. It's probably a pretty close tie. Yeah. Like, he's used to being up this high. Yeah. Spend time with your family? Yeah, I know. I think the railroad was like Jesus or something for how dedicated we are to them. Still rolling backwards. Run five. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Here they go. Let's get her stopped and try this again. Alright, let's go to run three. I had a really bad engineer once, and man, watching him start on the side of the cone pass was would have been pretty funny if I weren't on this train. Oh, wow. He liked to roll backwards. better. Ah, oh, shit. Did this thing... I think we just had a unit go down. No. <laughs> Get a chicken sandwich. Yeah, man. I was stopped in a... Right by Palm Springs. You got those trees that run along the freeway. I will stop there one time. I just walked over and got some subway. That was pretty sweet. <laughs> had to climb through all the Bums inhabitants, though. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> yeah, it's worse now. Yeah, I got the DPU working. I didn't want to use it as a DPU, but I have to if I want to continue to go. So these SD40s are not equipped with DPU. Anything? I mean, do you see a computer screen? No, you don't. So, but this game, you can DPU them, probably for things like this where you need helpers and you don't have someone else to play with, so. This will do. Gotta watch that power screen right there. Here we go! Um, I did a video, if you guys are interested after this one's over, I built like a 22,000 foot train. I was trying to test the physics of the game like to the max. So I had like four or five head end units, two sets of cut in dupers, and then rear dupers. And wow. it took me like two or three tries, but I was able to place the DPUs in the right spots to where I can get them up this grade without the train breaking in half. But I actually had to do like some real thought, like how you would actually put the DPUs in the train. I basically had to do that, and it worked. So the physics are next level in this game when it comes to realism, and I certainly showed that in that video. like a real engineer right now. I'm sucking on some candy. It's night time. i got to stay awake, you know. Now I just got to get us, it was, It was Skittles and Mountain Dew. <laughs> yeah, pretty much the same. Yeah. Skittles, truck driver's crack. We're run eight, baby. Just like the game. Oh, that's cool. They got all the lights from the, uh, what is it, the windmills? They got all the lights blinking out there in the night. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't, I don't see that yet. Yeah, you'll see in a sec. That's cool. 
you run through a red signal or derail a train, would you probably automatically get fired for that? So if you run through a red signal without authority, so you just straight up go through it, get decertified for 30 days, and then you're usually able to come back, but you might have to do some testing and, you know, they try to make sure you don't do it again. If you derail, it depends what caused the derail. Was it your fault? Was it overspeed? Did you run through a switch? Or was it not your fault? So it depends. If you run through a switch and derail, they could be pretty pissed about that. It kind of depends what manager you're dealing with. So it just depends. Sucking on candy. Oh, yeah. It's a simulation, man. got to simulate how it actually be so this cab does not have an alert or reset button so I just gotta honk the horn every so often Money. so if you were to crash a train it's because you're probably over speeding and yes you would be Temporarily fired, for the most part, for 30 days. Trains down Mexico. DPUs. Wow, that's pretty crazy. R for okay. Man, I'm telling you, I need this guy on my live stream so he can just tell me what buttons I need to use. You know. Yeah. Need to get him the game and join in. Yeah. Let's play together, man. I'll be your engineer. Yeah, we'll <laughs> screw things up together for the UP for good old times. Oh yeah, we got the old school bell now. I think the horn too is the type of horn they use on SP units, or at least this type. So that's cool. Yeah, how, uh, how familiar are you with the uh, multiplayer on this game? Because that's something I have never even dove into. Um, if you know how to do it, that would be fun sometime for sure. Oh, yeah. The V key. For wipers. Turn on. Oh, do these wipers not work? Or not? <laughs> wow. Yeah. I mean, it's an it's an SP unit maintained by the UP. I mean, what do you expect? You know. Yo. Here's your sign. Here's your sign. Luckily it's not accumulating on the uh, glass, so we're doing pretty good. So check this out. We only added two helpers to the rear, which is, it, it helps a lot, I'm not denying that, but we're doing 23, 24 miles an hour, where before we stalled out, like, hello, goodbye, helpers. R alt. Alright, I'll have to remember that for now on. 
Alright, what do we got for speed? Not that it matters. Alright, we're good for 35 right now. Really familiar. Set up a dedicated server in V2 and play and be with friends when I have time off work. Okay, right on. Um, kind of link to our Steam profile in the description. So, uh, if you want, send me like a friend request and maybe we can chat through that. And hopefully link up sometime. I know you're probably don't have a whole lot of time off, but that would be cool to do sometime for sure. <clears throat> It is dark in this unit. Yeah. Dork. You're gonna have to be holding hands with Kyle here pretty soon. I know. He gets so paranoid. He's not around his fellow bros. Yeah. He's running low on monster, you know, because you guys... Yeah. Crew for a while there. Yeah. Might have to stop up in Dachby next to a gas station or something. Yeah. UP detector. <laughs> yeah, what is time off or how do I get that? It's this yeah. weird thing that like normal jobs let you have at least once or twice a week. Don't worry about it. It's better. It's one of those things yeah. you just better not know. <laughs> yeah. Or else you might get kind of sad. <laughs> Dude, look. Wait until you see Kyle. Look at Kyle. He's just... Oh. Creepily just sitting there in the dark like he's gonna just slit my throat when I fall asleep at the next red signal. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. He's like, I've had enough of your crap today. You're an old cranky old head. Turn the flashlight on his ass. Oh yeah. Hey Oh, he is creepy, his like face is in the shadow. You like that in your eye, Kyle? Huh? 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 <laughs> Huh? And they threaten to fire you when you take it. Yeah. When you're a lot of time off and you take it and then they try to fire you for taking your a lot of time off. Yeah. I don't miss any of that. I'm just saying that right now. Lincoln on and off the flashlight. That's awesome. <laughs> Gotta make sure he's awake, you know. Conductor awesome over there. Conductor awesome. <laughs> oh, this thing. I don't know, man. All right, let's try this. Nope, that didn't work. Hmm. This is the worst time of the day to go up a hill by far. Oh, I forgot to turn on auto. What am I doing? What am I doing? Let's see what auto does. Alright, so we're heading up right here. Oh, I forgot to line back those switches. Whoopsie! <laughs> I knew I was going to do that. What are you going to do? You know? I'll go fix those after the session's over. If I remember. You won't remember. No, I won't. Hopefully I remember that that's what pink means. Mm. But, you know, that, that's a neat, that's a Snowball's chance in hell, really. All I know is we got a flasher, and this guy needs to line us up. I'm going to check these units. That one's running, that one's running. Alright, so they're all running. I thought earlier one of them might have gone down. So what run are you currently doing, man? Which one? 
There's what, two main lines that parallel each other out there, right? Something like that. Have I derailed or done anything crazy in the game? Yeah, I sure did. Nothing crazy. I, uh, basically the front truck went on one track and the rear truck stayed on the track we're on before. So it looked like the locomotive was doing a sick drift down the track. So like that, what's his name? Paul, Fast and Furious. I've never watched those, but yeah. Yeah. Paul no more. Paul no more. Too soon? Or, or no, your engine was doing the splits. That's what it was doing. Yeah, yeah, I was just stretching out, you know. Yeah. These old girls are tight, you know. They're worn. <laughs> stretching out the old hammies. Yeah, yeah. Yes! Exactly. <clears throat> but yes, this game you do derail now. That's something in uh, version 2. This is version 3. It actually just came out a few months ago. Version 2, you wouldn't derail. Version 3, you do. Um, I feel like if... I want to be insulting. The game itself is really good, but it seems like the devs don't really work on it a whole much. If they had a really dedicated dev team, I feel like this game could be ten times more popular and better with just improvements. Um, I really hope that that happens at some point, because that would be a shame if it didn't. So. Oh, check it out. A cop pulled over a big rig on the freeway. Oh, hey, look, it's you, Martin. It's you. Yep. Why are you doing 120 and a 60? I'm dyslexic, no, my sir. Best was 105 <laughs> and a 55. Uh, <laughs> yeah. In the SeaWorld and Bush Gardens big rig. Uh, and SeaWorld plastered all over the side. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, uh, I caught Kyle looking forward, but I flashed him, and then he looked back at me like pissed. I'm about to get some like aluminum cans to the face, crushed, of course. It's gonna start flicking monster tabs at me. Monster tabs. Yeah, my license, they suspended my license for 30 days and a $430 fine. <laughs> and that was back when I was 22, so that's back early 90s. Nice. That was right out of the Marine yeah. Corps then, huh? Yeah, that's when I started with those marketing companies, over the road marketing companies. Dang, big boy. Yeah. That CHP officer, when he came up to the cab, I had the window down, but the door locked, and he's grabbing the handle to open up the door, and he's wrenching on it, and the cab is going back and forth, and I've stuck my hands out the window. I was like, and I go, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> he was so pissed. <laughs> That's great. That's amazing. It looks like you got yeah. a fellow trucker on, on the chat. Stern LX. Nice. He knows your pain. <laughs> yeah. Devs keep their cards very close. I like that they do that. Um, looks like they're working on Donner Pass. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool because I think you can... Yeah. There's DLC to run up to Roseville already. So that's one thing I really like about this game is all these routes interconnect if you buy the DLC. So... It's not like you're just buying a separate route. Like, you're literally buying, like, an addition to the game so that you can... I mean, you can start all the way in L.A., run all the way out to Needles, or all the way to Bakersfield right now if you have the L.A. and Cajon Pass DLC. Like, that's pretty rad. So, good on them. Good on them. All right, let's see what uh, Dispatcher Auto has going for us. I'm gonna have to call him at this at this next absolute signal like the last time I came up this way. 
They only have Venus at the Fresno at least. Oh, okay, I thought that included the uh, UP as well. Yeah, it's amazing how strict they are on, like, you truckers, or... I can see the railroad, because the railroads are so incompetent these days, but... They're so strict on, like, the individual trucker. It blows my mind, you know? You know what? There's so... You gotta remember, back in the day when trucking started, it wasn't... We didn't go as far. It was all locals. Mm -hmm. Guys with no sleepers. And they were just doing whatever the F they wanted. Yeah. And overloading stuff, going over bridges, and just destroying everything. Um, so that's why they started in with the regulations. And it's all about revenue with taxes and the government. To, you know, that's another road we could go down. <laughs> yeah. Don't get me started on that. Yeah. You know. But I actually wish that the license were harder to get because now... Like, companies like Swift will just put any monkey behind the wheel, yeah. and they just run them until they quit. Yeah. So it's, it, what the industry has become is so sickening. Yeah, I can see that. I hear that. And that's a good point about, you know, you do need to have regulations for bridges and overloading yeah. and all that. I didn't think of it that way, but yeah. Yeah, because back in the day... The bridges weren't like they were now, and these idiots were running overloaded trucks over them. Yeah. That was a huge problem back in the day in Pennsylvania. And then, um, you know, like, they're running hazmat materials without not knowing anything, and that's when they did it federal and all that. Yeah, yeah. And then you would get... So one guy would get a license in a state. This is When I first became a truck driver back in the early 90s, there were guys that had, the states weren't linked, and the guys would have licenses from different states. So when you got pulled over, if you didn't have any points on a license, you'd give them that license. Wow. So, like, you, as long as you paid the fine, you were okay. And back then, the companies would pay for your fines. Ah. Uh. Like, I, I got so many tickets on the race teams and all that, and they would pay for the fine. So uh, one time in Louisiana, I'm standing there and I'm going to the trooper like, hurry up, give me my ticket. I got to go. I got to go. And he's like, if you're going to speed again, I'm going to call ahead and have another trooper pull you over. I said, that's okay because I'm going to make up time still even if he does pull me over. <laughs> and at the other end of the state, he pulled me over. <laughs> <laughs> Two tickets in one day. Oh, dude, that's hilarious. Yeah, but I was like, give me the ticket, let's go, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I don't care, I don't pay for it. But yeah. Like I said, it, it didn't go on your license back then, as long as you didn't do it in California, you were okay. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, he got me good too, man. 85 and the... Because back then it was all 55. Yeah. Yeah, half of my 24-year driving truck was doing 885 the whole time. Yep. I I hear that. I mean, that's the only way, yeah. to, that's the only way to make it go quick. Yep, I know the Mojave Desert gets snow. I just think it's funny that the game incorporates that. It's yeah. Set to the, let's see, it's set by the date set to the game. Okay, right on. Got so many questions being answered tonight about this game. It's great. <laughs> no kidding. It's such a complex game when it comes to the controls, but that's what makes it great is there's so many things you can do. So, is what it is. It made it a lot hard to become a CDL instructor now. You also have to go through the yeah, certified would, school. Yeah. Now, uh, CHP out here in California, as long as you're, you're 10 or under, 
they usually don't mess with you. They're, they actually got a lot better. The Arizona guys up on I-40 became dicks. And they started pulling everybody over for stupid crap, too. Oh, yeah. You're missing a mud flap. Uh, I'm going to pull you over and corn all your ass. Yeah. <clears throat> corn hole. Yeah. Yeah, top Nevada, left. Never got messed with. Yeah, well, helps when the speed limit's a lot higher out there, probably. <laughs> yeah, you know, once they turned... You know what's weird is... Once they stopped 55 and let states do all their own speeds, the trucking industry pretty much governed all the trucks at, like, well, all the big companies at 65. Yeah. To save fuel. And then, like, all, yeah, we get, there is some guys out there that haul ass and speed, like me. But nowadays, they're all 65. If they would have done that to begin with. Yeah. Yeah. But you can thank your boy, um... Uh, who was the president? Oh, Jimmy Carter started 55 for all the states. Mm. That's his dumbass fault. <laughs> because he had a crappy ass oil policy, and that was supposed to save fuel. Yep. Politics, politics, politics. Yep. I think I might be over speeding at this point. I haven't seen a speedboard in a while, so I'll kind of keep it around here. Yeah, I haven't ran I-40 in a while, too. I used to have to go to northern Arizona and then uh, Albuquerque on my last job, and that was a nice run. On the west side of uh, Albuquerque, there's a place called Laguna Burger near a big-ass casino. Stop there and get a burger, guys. It's awesome. One of the best burgers you'll ever have. Laguna. Laguna Burgers, yeah. Uh, I can go for a burger right now as you said that. Yep. Yeet doggy. <clears throat> Let's see, we're approaching 45 miles an hour. Should be pretty good. It's hard to recognize where I'm at at night. Because I've only been this way like once. So. Are you on the tracks that parallel the 58 right now? Yeah, I'm almost to the top of the pass coming from Mojave oh, okay. where the uh, mine is there on the side of that hill. I'm coming up on that. L. Left shift. Ah, wow, that's cool. We're on a 1.8. Yeah, 1% grade, clear, track speed. All right, good to know. I guess I, uh... I just try to run this, like, realistic. Oh, there's a crossing. Didn't blow for it. Whoops! Oh, my God. I'm <laughs> telling. I'm telling. Hopefully they don't catch that one on the uh, black box or something, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, what was I saying? I tried to, uh... I try to run the game with not looking at any of like the the, the cheat stats. I guess I try to run There's it. There's another crossing. Yeah, I try to uh, run it by paying attention to the signal boards, the speeds, all that stuff. Obviously, I'm looking at the dispatcher screen just to make sure that things are going somewhat smoothly. But um, I kind of like the unknown. That's part of. The part of the fun for me until I learn the route then I can start pushing it so we're good for 70 once we get past this we'll obviously won't do that we're manifest trained so we're 50 miles an hour no matter what that would kill me <laughs> that would kill me yeah I don't know if you could become an engineer after driving trucks I feel like you'd get really frustrated with the speeds and how slow you have to do everything oh my god are you kidding me like just I'd throttling up, mind. just throttling up. Like you gotta be patient, man. <laughs> yeah, and you know me and railroads online. It's like full throttle. If you guys want to see some switching, man, go check out our railroads online videos. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, hopefully, we get back into that game here. There's an update coming out, so as soon as that drops, 
it, it might be this weekend. Oh, yeah? Or next weekend. I'm not sure. Yeah. Somebody's knocking on my door. Who the hell's knocking? I'm not through the Tehachapi Loop already. We're coming up from the east side from Mojave. We're heading west. So. Oh, it's a buy the magazine thing. <laughs> buy the magazine. They still do that? Yeah, that's so weird. And, you know, we have no soliciting here, but yet they come in here and do it anyways. Yeah. Hey, you want to buy my knives for your kitchen? It's like, bro, we got Amazon. But I yeah. appreciate it. <laughs> Magazines are dead. Yeah. We have the thing called the internet. The interwebs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see what Dispatcher Auto's up to. All right, so looks like we're going to stop at the crossovers at Cable. That's on a pretty good downgrade from what I remember, so i got to be careful coming up on that thing. Can't wait for the new splines and roads online. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, I've... big time. <laughs> I was Mr. Curve, lay the curves, because I spent the time to, like, every two feet lay a piece of track to make it look really smooth, so this will be really nice. Yeah, when you can set the radiuses. Yeah. Actually, I think our track work was pretty amazing compared to everybody else's. Yeah, compared, like, yeah, for sure. It, it looks Even really legit. Even the Yeah. We had... We had better tracks than the dang divs, man. Yeah, we did. If uh, you don't believe us, go watch it. There's proof. Yeah. And playing at night in the game is starting to make me tired like I'm actually doing it. <laughs> uh, no kidding. Having a PTSD right now. I'd be yelling at Kyle and throwing shit at him. Yeah, what's Kyle up to? You awake, dummy? I feel like the, all the sugar and taurine has gone to his head and he's just out on his feet right now. That sugar crash. <laughs> yeah, with my, all the vitamin B that it's infused with. Yeah. Finally gave in, built my curves with the, uh, yeah. Yeah, hopefully that'll no, simplify just, the game. I love it when you're just blasting the flashlight at Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dummy! Oh man, my brother-in-law, because he's a, he was a cop for 26 years. Mm -hmm. He is a flashlight weirdo. As much as we love like trains and stuff, this guy is into flashlights like you wouldn't believe. What? And every time he would get a new one, hey, check out my flashlight, be blasting right in your fucking eyes, make you blind. <laughs> that used to piss me off so bad. <laughs> Because his lights are so bright, you're like seriously blinded for like five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I wrecked my truck. <laughs> okay, so I play truck sim, right? My my stepfather plays truck sim, and he's what 73 now. You should see daylight. He's crashing trucks. <laughs> it's hilarious, man. <laughs> He puts a truck in the ditch all the time. Which would take the rest of everybody to do like a run that takes like five, ten minutes. It literally takes him an hour to do a run. That's awesome. Yeah, it is out of control funny. Yeah, old people in video games, you know. Yeah, yeah. Him in GTA 5 is awesome too, man. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah. You know, Dennis, yeah. there's roads, right? <laughs> yeah. We're, we're making, 
you know, $20,000 doing this and that. And he's punching people at the ATM and taking like 35 bucks going, yeah, look at me. I just scored. <laughs> <laughs> I just made 20 G's five minutes ago. <laughs> uh, true story. Yeah. <laughs> so what you're saying is he's like me and Red Dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you and Red Dead. Oh, he's just fighting everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, with a fight club. <laughs> I got the brain cells to get away with it in that game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you just wear people out by letting them punch you in the head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that was the best. You had like the coveralls on with no shirt, just punching everybody. Yeah, man, I was full blown hillbilly of the year. That was awesome. I named my character William Wallace for all you guys out there. I made him look like him, and I just salted everyone in sight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody was after your ass. That was the best. I was I was undefeated for a while, man. I was undefeated for a while. <laughs> yeah, they catch up to you though. Yeah. They catch up to you. Cause the law gets involved, and then there's guns and stuff gets out of control. Yeah. Uh, good stuff. That was funny. That was zero to Fight Club, too. You did that. <laughs> yeah, how about in Hold Fast when we got the boxing Fight Club oh going? Oh my god. You guys should check out our Hold Fast video where we made a boxing ring. And these guys are doing... And I love, like, some idiot would come up and shoot a gun. And we're all... Everybody's yelling at him. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> They're fighting. Put the gun down. <laughs> So for you guys that don't know, Hold Fast is like a, uh, it's like Call of Duty, but like muskets and stuff. It's a great game. Hilarious. Cannons. The community's great. So, so many funny people. Well, you're supposed to, you know, run around and shoot each other with cannons and muskets and stuff. Well, we're like, let's build a boxing ring. And we got like half, half the players to like join in. I was the ref. It was great. Oh, that was the best. Yeah. That's a good video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The best. I still can't believe there's nine people watching this. I know. This is so boring. Am I really that good? <laughs> this is so no. boring. Thanks for pumping up yeah. the channel, man. <laughs> yeah. Dude, your videos are boring. <laughs> I'm here for you. <laughs> like, oh my god. Ugh. Like, you I want suck. Dude, and it's a catch fire. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure we will at some point. Don't doubt it. Yeah. So what are you coming up on? Do you know? Tachapi. So I'm this uh, oh, okay. UPRR main 28717. You'll see it on the dispatch screen when it comes up. And I'm lined to the cable crossovers, which is not far from here. So... Yeah, I'm taking her easy because last time I came flying through here and uh, I couldn't get the train stopped. There's a sharp curve when you get outside of Tehachapi to the right. And I thought I could get it, the train squatted down and slowed down in time. Nope. We went off the rails, fellas. So I learned my lesson. Just trying to see what I can get away with on the uh, video game, you know. So... You guys are hilarious. Yeah, and we're not even trying. Like, this is just us all the time. We talk almost every yeah. day, and it's this is what we do. Now we just record it. <laughs> <laughs> Which could be a bad thing. I don't know. <laughs> so we're going to start going downhill, so I'm going to warm up these brakes. We're going to throttle up a little bit. So we're going to stretch the train out. Setting the air brakes to the rest of the train. Because we're about to descend, so then I'll just start throttling off as we pick up speed, and then we should be good to go as we start descending down. Do you, uh, do you have time in real life to uh, take it down the loop today? Probably not. When we get, when we get uh, stopped up here at Cable, that's probably where I'll have to call it. Next episode for sure, we'll run it down into Bakersfield, and we might switch out down there for a bit. 
So oh, we'll, we'll okay. see though. I might go longer than cable. It just depends. Looks like the hill's pretty clogged up on the dispatcher screen, so I don't know what's going oh. on. So we're we're here almost at Tehachapi. We got a BNSF in front of us waiting for a train, which is waiting for a train, which is waiting for a train. <laughs> So standard UP practice right there. Yeah, I mean, what do you expect? Yeah. Can't expect much, man. <clears throat> All right. We got a flasher coming up there. That's Tehachapi. Set the brakes a little early, but that's all right. Last time I set them, actually, I set them pretty early, but I was doing like 50, which uh, did not go well. <laughs> And the thing with these older units, too, is I'm watching the speedometer, where on the newer ones there's an accelerometer. So it'll tell you, hey, you're about to pick up plus 15 miles an hour. Then you want to be like, okay, time to back her off. Where on this oh, thing... That's cool. Yeah. On this thing, you don't get that. It's just, hey, this is what it that's is. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. My dad was taught to learn how fast he was going he would count mile post to mile post he would watch his watch and that's how you would know how fast you're going his when he was in training the older sp guys they would cover up the speedometer and make him run like that all the way to yuma oh. so they made you freaking know how to run your train back then is legit. <laughs> Unlike these days. Yeah. Touch the computer screen, <clears throat> monkey. Hey, dummy. All right, so. Yeah. We, uh, Touch the button that lets us know you're still awake. Yeah. In the cab every 30 seconds. Mm-hmm. So we're transitioning to dynamics. We got to be down to 25 here pretty soon. work is blowing up my phone and I'm going to ignore it <laughs> <laughs> when in doubt <laughs> when in doubt ignore it put it on mute yeah as long as you had to wait to stop at a red signal in real life yeah pretty much 12 hours there's days where I never even left the yard so Get on your train. You sit there for 12 hours. Oh man, see that I would I'd lose my shit. Yeah, it's pretty hard. It's pretty hard to deal with sometimes. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, we're in Tatchby. To the left is the uh, old depot, which is now the museum in real life. It's actually a pretty cool place. I've been there several times. A lot of history. I think we've been there with you, Martin. Maybe once. Nope. I think the last time we went up to Tehachapi to watch the trains on the loop. Yeah. Man, it'd be beautiful to go up there right now. I saw a picture online the other day of Tatchby right now, and it is so green and perfect time of year. Maybe next time. Yeah, you, you sleep for eight hours straight. You try to sleep the whole time. It's hard to sleep in those really bad caps. <laughs> I mean, they're yeah, atrocious. There, there's no way I'd be able to sleep in that. Ah, oh, dude, it's terrible. Some of the newer units have, like, some really awesome foam, like, airline seats, but those are few and far in between. You know, if I was an engineer, I'd bring my own, like, pillow and stuff. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta have a comfy chair, man. That's That would kill me. Yeah. It's no joke. All right, we're out of dynamics. Let's see what this thing does. Wow, 10 hours sitting in the truck. Good lord. <laughs> see, I was always lucky. I had a weird trucking career 
I was doing, my first 10 years, I was doing marketing trucks and race team trucks. But see, with the race team trucks, people don't realize, you'll spend 15, 18 hours that Sunday during the race, pack up the shit, and then you're driving. So, yeah, you had to do a lot. There was a lot of hours, but you were doing stuff. I never had to wait on stuff. My whole trucking career, I never had to wait. And then after all that weird trucking, I got into, I was like a, uh, I would work and do truck. Like I built cell phone towers and, and install underground stuff with Weisiger and stuff. And then I, I got this killer job with a nursery and I kind of made, I made my own stops and, and did it. It was great. Yeah. So I had like a weird, yeah. And I was hourly there. I wasn't even paid by the mile with them was filled out my own time card like hello goodbye yeah take a hammock that would be awesome I've heard of uh, engineers and conductors doing that wow yeah it gets that that ridiculous this thing bogged down a little bit I went a little too heavy into the dynamics but our next signal is red and I don't exactly know where it's at <laughs> I've only been this way once and that was months ago so we're gonna take it a little easy just in case because I don't know where I'm going. Lander. I drove. <clears throat> yeah, go for it. I, but I did haulers for Cup, IndyCar, and I did Top Fuel too. Um, see, our marketing company, we were the largest mobile marketing company. We had big contracts for Anheuser Busch and DeWalt Tools and all this, and then we would. So when a NASCAR team needed a driver for like a week or two weeks, um, they would hire us out because we we could set up the truck, we could do the canopy. Um, hell, I even wrenched on a bunch of stuff, and then uh, later on in my career, I ended up on the uh, Falcon. Uh, Porsche, which was American Le Mans series, I was actually a tire carrier, a jack man. Um, I wrenched on the cars. I did fabrication. I did all kinds of stuff. So I did, I was in quite a bit of racing. Yeah. I had Kristen Powell's top field dragster when she was in the royal purple car. Um, for like uh, almost two months with that crew. That's pretty cool that you got to do all that. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> this is uh, probably one of the more trickier parts of running a train. Especially when you don't know where the signal's at. Just try not to uh, bog down. Try not to come in a little too hot to something you don't know where it's at. Yeah, if you guys ever go to Daytona, pay the money and do the tour. Um, back in the day, the pay was pretty shitty, but you never seen home, so you you saved a lot of money because you never had a chance to spend it. So <laughs> that's why I had a huge ass HO layout, <laughs> <laughs> scale layout. All my money went to that. Um, but yeah, it you never seen home. Like we were gone middle of February all the way to November. And you didn't have any time off. You you went that hard. So, yeah, race team is hard. And a lot of the married guys do it because they hate their wives. So, it, it's a weird thing, man. You have to be like a lone wolf. Or prior military like I was. That's even better. Because then you're used to the team concept. getting a little bit of slack right here we're stretched out I shouldn't be I'm pretty smooth on the 
on the dynamics, but getting it a little bit, so that's that's not acceptable. But hey, what are you gonna do? I don't know where the hell this signal's at. <laughs> Is that your speed, like five mile an hour, or whatever that is? Yeah, I'm trying to inch up on this thing because I don't know where it's at. It might be around this next curve for all I know, and I can't see nothing. I'm gonna have to go kind of hard on this turn, just in case. Hey, I think you got your twin out there, dude. Yeah, no kidding. Actually, you know, it, it's funny. He says he, it gave me the ability to sleep anywhere. Dude, I was I was a long range uh, reconnaissance guy, so it was just me and another guy in jungles. We got no freaking sleep, no freaking sleep. Now I I can't sleep. I have to when I'm in a big rig, I have to take sleeping pills. I can't even sleep if if the rare time I was actually teamed up with another guy. Bouncing around in the back of the sleeper, even with a load of pills, I couldn't sleep. <laughs> well, I don't trust other drivers. That's one of my problems. Yeah, that's understandable. Yeah. Oh my gosh, where is this signal at? Yeah, you're grandma, and of course you're at the top of the hill. Yeah, I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> you know me, we'd be by 80 around the bend. Yeah, I just literally don't know where any of this is at, so it's like I'm running blind. I'm trying to control it. You can hear a little bit of slack coming in and out. Which, you know, ideally you don't want to hear any of that. A good engineer, you don't hear any slack. But I never claimed to be a good engineer, so... <laughs> Most team drivers these days are couples. Yeah. Oh, here we are. Yeah. Yeah, big time. I it was super, super rare that I was ever in a team with a team where the other guy was driving. It was so rare. Yeah, most of mine, I was always solo. Or we had chase vehicles, so I would be driving in, like, um, like the SeaWorld truck. We had models driving the car behind us and stuff. So that was, that was more of a hassle than any job. Models, women with you on the road, oh, my God. <laughs> and them having to drive, oh, my God. That was the worst. All right, well, uh, we got stopped. Decent amount away from the signal, so that's a good deal. Yeah, you don't hear it. You do feel it. Unfortunately, though, you can only hear in this game, and you can't feel nothing. It's the the yeah. only knock on this, on any railroad game, doesn't matter what it is, is you can't feel. And that's the biggest thing you rely on when you're actually running a train, as you know. But yeah. All right. We got stopped here at Cable. Let's see what we're looking at. It's almost like... Nothing's moving like before. Okay, where is this guy going? That is so dumb. So the, the dispatcher has not been working lately like it should, and it's kind of frustrating. Yeah, like, look at all this. Too bad you couldn't do that. Technically, I could. I could just do. Uh, I could play as just a dispatcher. Oh. Without, it's just hard to do when you're uh, running a train at the same time, you know. Nah. Nah. Well, let's tie this thing down. First, let's get my lantern out. Be cool if these things were still around, these old SP units, but few and far in between now. Train down. Love that little 
flashlight. Yeah. I'll have to go screw with Kyle one last time just for laughs, you know? Yeah. God, Kyle. We'll tie down a decent amount. I don't really need yeah, to Yeah, if you guys want anymore. a good laugh, go back to our uh, Railroads Online. That that was the, the most fun. Yeah, and the videos seem to progressively get better, too, because we started adding in, like, memes and... Uh, yeah, it was good. Yeah. Some of the wrestling stuff in there was great. Yeah. <clears throat> it was great. Let's see if this train will hold. Change for not in dynamics no more. Alright, cool. Well, we're going to treat this just like in real life. There are no crews, no vans to patch us. Because Union Pacific sucks. So we gotta tie down the train, leave it, and we'll come back next time to finish off the journey. It's taking be the third episode to get down to Bakersfield, but I'd say that's pretty realistic. Probably be end up being about ten hours total of footage. Wow. So and we did have to mess around there and uh <clears throat> Mojave there for a bit. So not bad. I think we'll leave the helpers on the rear to help us down. Seems like they were definitely useful coming down this fair bit. Alright, let's see what else. Oh, now I'm on the front. Hey, wrong button. Hey, hey. Alright guys, well, appreciate you uh, coming on and watching, that was fun. Let's see, we got one more in the chat. Yeah, it's right down the side of the mountain. <clears throat> yeah, I forget, uh, you probably know better than me, there's probably, s there's a certain way to tie a train down the side of the mountain. Um, I, I don't think you can technically do it, I can't remember, at least where I was at. I think someone had to at least hold the air on a grade, which would be what, 1.9% greater greater, I think is what it was. It's been a few years I've been out of the game, you'd think I'd remember a lot of things, but I don't, because I only remember things if I continue to do them. Because I'm a little special, you know, but that's all right. We're playing a game, having fun, so appreciate it if you guys in the chat like the video, subscribe, comment. Check out our other videos, like we said, you know, they're they're fun to watch, like this one, and anything more fun, because we're playing together, and the Railroad's Online, and some other things, so go check that out, check out our Patreon if you want to see what we're, what we're doing currently, um, I'm updating that daily, check out our Steam profile, and our workshop items, we got plenty of stuff in there, and, uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun, guys, we'll do that again, hopefully, o over the weekend, or early next week, so, Appreciate for all the good support, and we will check you guys next time. Bye. Bye.